Hi, welcome to my second devlog. In this video series, I'm documenting my progress while making a water park creation game. I already posted one devlog before, last week, and even though I cringe really hard when I look back at it, I do hope that I will be glad that I did this in the future. And I feel like continuing working on this series. I'm still getting used to editing videos, so please bear with me as I'm getting better. So a little recap. Last week I worked on the terrain system. You can use different tools to modify the terrain. Plus, I added an undo system, which makes it easy to fix mistakes. Now let's talk about this week. I'm starting this video on the Wednesday because I was still busy editing the video from last week on Monday and Tuesday. And on Wednesday I was free from work, so I started the day by going to the gym and on the way back from the gym I noticed that it was so nice weather. As I mentioned last week, I want to start working on the pausing system. I was already thinking about how I would add support and just finishing touches to the pausing system, but I kind of forgot that I need to be able to just place paths to begin with. So maybe let's first focus on the user being able to place paths. Just let me code for a bit and let's test out if this works. Well. At least something gets placed already, so I'm happy with that. But not quite what I'm looking for. Second try. Oh. Well, it already places some stairs. Not in the right direction, but it's still something. Okay, third try is the show. Hmm, this is one thing with Unity that I will never get used to, and that is rotation. Oh, already one cell with stairs in the correct direction, so I'm getting close. Yay! It's working. Did I already mention that we're having such nice weather this week? I am loving it. Back to the nature in my game, and the paths that I'm placing on that nature. As you can see, I added some buttons for different tools. So yesterday I made the paths that you can just paint on the terrain. And as you can see, I added a little indication that shows what kind of path you will be placing. Today I'm adding the ability to paint the paths that you have already placed to a new style. Okay, I'm back again, just some really easy code where I check if the user clicks on a certain path and it then tries to change the path's color to the one that is currently being selected. Okay, it's a bit later now. I've added the ability to place paths in the air. So what you do is you start from one path that is already placed. From there on, you can just go in any direction that is possible. The system is still a bit wonky when you try to change the height of paths, but besides that, it works great already. So I'm really happy with my progress for this day.
So first thing I did today was adding a little bit of debugging help. I'm also already making sure that I will be able to do pathfinding for the guests later on. You can see in the top screen that every cell has four points where it can be connected to other cells and it starts red because there is no connection yet. But once a cell is placed right next to it, then it becomes green. These are all nodes and whenever there's a path that can be connected to it, that node gets updated. And then later on, it will be easy to make sure that guests can find their way around the park. Okay, so today I struggled a lot. <laughs> I used hours trying to find out what was wrong. I'm dumb, basically. <laughs> so I was trying to do collision checking, but somehow no collision or trigger events were being called. I just didn't understand at all why it wasn't happening. Until I realized way too late that I was basically testing the game in pause mode, which caused the physics to also be paused at the same time. I feel like I'm done for today. So I'm just going to spend the rest of the night playing some Tetris 99 and trying to relax a bit. So it's a new day. I'm starting with a fresh mind. I'm trying not to think too much about the stupid mistakes I made yesterday. Today I want to work on the undo system for the pausing. So let's test out. I'm placing some paths. I'm painting some paths. And I'm placing some more paths in the air this time. So now let's see if I can undo what I just did. Phew! <laughs> this worked incredibly well for a first try. I'm really happy with what I achieved today. I think I have done enough for this week, so I'm just happy. Also, it's now possible to change how many undo actions that are being recorded. And it is possible to just quit the game, which I think is really fancy. Oh, and I spotted some Easter bunnies today. It's Sunday now and Easter Sunday to be more precise, so I'm visiting some family today. stepdad recently moved into this really nice house with a big garden and I just love being there because it's so quiet compared to where I live and it's just nice to look at nature. As you can see they're still working on the house but what's most interesting to me is the view and all the nature surrounding the house. They also have this cute, but sometimes incredibly evil cat called Bozil. Oh, and my mom even organized a little Easter egg hunt for us today. So after my grandparents came to visit, I started editing this video, the one you're watching right now. And that was my week. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it somehow. Um, and see you next week. <laughs>